guys. Okay, right, today I'm going to take you through a couple of little routines that are really targeted at those buttocks. Now, everybody wants nice toned bums. I know we all like to wear our leggings and skinny jeans and all of that sort of thing. So, basically, if you do this every day, you're going to get that really tight toned bum. Now, throughout all of the exercises that I'm going to do, I want you to really always remain conscious and focused about keeping this core really tight. It's all about how you perform the positions and the movements. If you don't do it correctly, then you're not gonna get the benefits. So really important that the whole body is engaged at all times, um, and then you're really gonna be working all of those little exterior muscles, connecting muscles, and really getting that long toned shape that we're all after. Remember, my method is not about bulking up, I don't want to go for lifting big heavy weights. It's all about using your own body weight to kind of define that nice womanly shape, but keeping those long toned lines. Okay, so first of all, we should be warmed up. We've done a little stretch. We've kind of moved about a little bit. We've done a bit of jumping rounds. So we're feeling good. So now we're really going to go and target right in that area. So the first exercise we're going to do today is going to get down on all fours. Okay? Now, you can make this a little bit harder as you progress by using um, some ankle weights. You can strap these on. That really burns. Trust me, you really will feel it. But for now, just going to start with building up that strength in there. So we're going to go down onto all fours. Remember, like I said before, I want you to be really conscious about this. I want the back straight. I want the stomach toned and engaged at all times, okay? So you're really thinking about that position, you're thinking about your lines, your posture, everything. Feminine body, that's what we want. Okay, so, hands down, into the all form position here. Yeah. We're gonna start with bringing the knee into the chest with a flex foot, you see my foot's flex there? We're gonna bring this in, and we lift it out. So it's a kind of movement where the foot is flexed and we're almost kind of reaching up the ceiling. So we're coming in and out, in and out. We're gonna repeat that for 20. Then on the 20th rep, we're not gonna come down, we're gonna hold it up there and we're just gonna pulse for 20. Like that, just really focusing tight, right in the glutes. So after we've done the 20 pulses, I'm gonna move like this so you can see a little bit better. We are then, not going to come down, so we're going to finish the last pulse. We're going to come down to here and we're going to lift to the side. Right there. So we're really targeting right inside this kind of hip movement right here. You're going to really feel it and it should really start to burn. But burning's good because that means it's working. So we're going to do 10 to here like that. Then for the last 10, we're going to cross the knee over, touch it onto the floor and kick and down and kick and down and kick and we do 10 reps like that so it's a combination of 20 20 10 10 so we're going to start do the first rep straight onto the other leg so that's our first little section okay should we give it a go you ready let's go right we'll do it together okay i want you to feel the burn okay ready let's go one, that's it, three, keep it moving, five, I want you to really feel it, it's not a high lift, but you're going to feel it right where you need to, and keep pushing through, remember to keep that foot nice and flexed. We are reaching out and we are touching the ceiling. Boom. And boom. And boom. Okay, we're going to hold it there and we're going to pulse for 20. And go. One, two, three. That's it. Now we should be feeling it. Ten more. One, two. Pulse. Nine, ten. We don't bring it down, keep it up. And to the side. Go one and two. Keep it going. Three. Don't forget that body position. Nice and tight. Five and six and seven, eight, nine 
and 10. And last rep, and cross, and kick, and cross, and kick, cross, and kick. Keep it going, kick. Nearly there, we should be burning now. Five more, one, two, three, four, and last one, give it a good one, boom. There we go. Okay, we got it going. Now, we're gonna swap over, exactly the same, on the other leg. So, are we ready? Let's go. Engage the core, nice and strong, flat back. Bend the knee, and up, one, Two, three, four, feel it going. Nice and tight in the core, keep everything strong. Keep it going, keep strong, keep the form. Come on guys. Last one and hold and pulse, go. One, two, three, keep that ceiling, four, five, Six, seven. Feeling that burn? Okay, to the side, go. One, and two, and three, four, five, six. Tight, strong, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And cross it over, bang, and kick. And cross, and kick, cross, kick, keep going, four, five more, let's go, nearly there, one, come on, you're doing good, two, keep going, three, four, last one, and boom, there we go, feeling it in those glutes, that's a good, that's a great little warm up one to get us going, and Move on to the next. Okay, for the next round, you're going to need to get a chair. Any chair will do. Kitchen chair, dining room chair, just make sure it's fairly steady. So I've just got a normal kitchen chair here. I'm going to bring this over and you're going to use it as um, just not, not really a support. You're not really like leaning on it for like, you know, it's just basically just to hold your balance and keep your posture and everything correct. So, back of the chair, you're going to be holding on. Supporting leg is going to be tight and strong. Knee pulled right back. Thinking about the posture in the body, almost like a, like a ballet dancer standing at the bar, nice and strong. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna hold onto the back of the chair, supporting leg tight. This leg, we're going to be lifting. And we're just going to be lifting to this position. I'll just turn so you can see there. So, it's, it's, it's kind of like, like that. Now, depending on your flexibility is exactly sort of how high you're going to go, but you're going to want to feel it. You're going to know where your level is. So, nice and tight and strong in here, and the movement is just lifting to there. Almost like a body dancer, like that. So, we're going to do that one for 20. So, it'll be 20 lifts there. As you can see, the support, the leg that's being lifted doesn't come down and touch the floor. It just sort of skims to the back of the supporting leg and lift. So it's going to be there for 20. After that, we're going to lift to the back. I'll show you how that goes. So it's here and down and here and down. And just notice how this supporting leg stays really, really strong and the body here. Nice and tight and strong throughout the core. So you're going to be lifting to the position that you find comfortable. Again, depending on your flexibility, and you'll probably find as you progress and do videos every day that your flexibility will get slightly better on this. So we'll do 20 there. And then the last 20, leg goes out straight and comes in bent. And out. In and out. So that's the three. So starting with, straight mat here. Starting with lifting for 20. 20 at the back, leg out straight and 20 in. So, are we ready? Let's go. Okay, strong, straight posture. Let's go. And one, two, three. Remember to use the whole body, even lift this arm. Five, six, seven, keep going. Eight, 
nine, ten, ten more, let's go. One, burn it, and two, three, and four, five, keep going. Six, you're gonna feel it exactly where you should. Seven, eight, nine, one more, don't drop the leg, let's go to the back, and one, two, three, Remember the chair is just there as support. Five, six, seven, eight, keep pushing. Nine, and ten. Ten more, let's go. One, two, supporting leg tight. Three, four, five, six, Seven, keep going, keep pushing. Eight, it should start burning. Nine, ten, hold it there, leg out straight and in. One, two, three, really burning now, keep going. It's burning, it's working. Six, seven, feet, eight, nine, Ten more, come on, last ten, really push. One, two, three, four, there it is. Five, six, come on, keep going, don't drop the leg. Seven, eight, nine, last one, give it a good push, and ten. There we go, right, straight over, same again, next leg. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six, supporting leg. Seven, eight, nice and tight in the core. Nine, nine, and ten. To the back. And one, two, three, four. I'm feeling it now, I hope you are too. Five, six, work that glute. Seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, Two more, nearly there. And straight and in, and one, two. Really burning now, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more, come on, eight, nine, and ten, and go. Last ones, one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, push those last ones. Eight, nine, nearly there, and ten. Woo! Feeling it good. Okay, so we've done the first two. For the last one, we're going to get down, back up down on the floor again, which I'm sure you'll be glad about after all the standing up behind the chair. We're going to do the simple reverse bridges, uh, which are just one of those real kind of, everyone knows those as a kind of great butt lifting exercise, but we're going to do them in a little bit of combination with some on our side and some small controlled lifts as well to really target all of those areas. So, first of all, we're going to do the reverse bridges which is, again, quite a simple exercise. So we're just lifting to here and down, and here and down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 15 reverse bridges, and then we're gonna mix them up a little bit. So the way I've described these is that almost as, as you do them, as you lift up into the reverse bridge, you're gonna lead with one hip, and you're gonna really feel the difference that that makes. So instead of lifting with both hips, up straight like that, you're almost going to lift with one hip and almost just pop that hip into the ceiling like that. So we start with 15 
two hips together, normal and straight, and then we pop, one, two. So we're gonna pop for 15 on one, and then pop for 15 straight on to the other. Then we're gonna turn onto our side, we're gonna hold the leg out nice and straight here, and we're just gonna pulse it right there, like that for 20. Then we're gonna bend in, Arm. You can use the arm, engage the arm as well if you want to at the same time. So it's that movement then. Okay, so go all the way through with those. So we're starting with the reverse bridge, leaving with two hips to start with, then we're going to pop each hip simultaneously. So 15 popping one hip, 15 popping the other, and then we're going to roll straight on. So we're going to do it together. So just follow me. Let's go through. Okay, so on your backs. Remember, I want you to think about keeping this small at the back nice and tight in the floor. So we're really strong here. Try when you're coming down that this, there's no gap in between that. And by doing that, it means that your stomach and core is really engaged. Okay, so let's go. And lift. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really lift those hips, eight. Nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Now pop. Let's pop this hip. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should feel that now. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five more. Keep going. One. Two, three, four, and five. Other hip. Let's go. One, two. Really lift that hip. Four, three, four, and five, six, seven. Keep going. Eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four. And five, roll over straight onto your side. Tight and controlled in here, leg out nice and strong and some pulses there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four. Keep that leg nice and straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come in. One, two, three, four, keep going, five, six, strong in the core, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going, more, one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Nine and ten. Okay, swap around. Other leg. Other side. Nice and open. Tight and straight. And pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend in one and two. Keep with me. Three and four and five, six. Put the arm up if you want. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, engaging the whole body. Ten more. Let's go. One, two. Really push. Three, four, five. Keep going, guys. Nearly there. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Okay, we're gonna repeat that all over again. So, straight back down, straight into the reverse bridges. Go again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Five more, keep going, one, two. Keep that back on the floor, three. Squeeze, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's pop the hips for fifteen and go one, pop, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Really burning. Five more. One, two, three. Four and five. Fifteen on the other. Let's go pop one and pop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Ten. Five more. Let's go one. Feel it. Two. Squeeze the bum. Three, four and five. There we go. Whew. Straight up. Stretch up nice and tall. There we go. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave your comments on the bottom. Uh, just tell you a little bit more about what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna be putting lots more videos on. Um, so that was just like a little taster, just doing a few uh, of the old butt exercises. But I'm gonna be doing some um, abs, uh, for getting those toned hot stomachs in there and do some upper body videos as well um, and like I said previously before my background uh, is in gymnastics um, and so I want to share with you all of the kind of knowledge that I've learned and transitioning that into a kind of fitness regime that develops that nice kind of toned feminine body as I sort of said before so if you like it Keep uh, watching, keep subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter uh, at GymFitSculpt um, and leave me some comments and anything you want to ask, I will try and answer you and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Bye.